To present the first of this evening's Windsor McKay Awards, please welcome Alita Braxton. Good evening. About 65 years ago, our dad, Frank Braxton, began his career in animation during a time when most who were working in the industry acknowledged him as the first black artist to do so. Over the course of his career, <laughs> so um, over the course of his career, his talented hands touched the pages of what would become some of the most popular cartoons of their time. But as the first of his race to work in the industry, he faced extraordinary challenges brought on by institutional racism exhibited by some who were not ready to see a black man sitting beside white animators, let alone direct them. Additionally, as Bill Hertz so accurately expressed it in uh, Dad's obituary, Frank was under tremendous pressure to succeed. When he was told his work was good, it was not good enough for him. He had to be the best. After all, he had a lot at stake. That said, when we hear from those who worked with him, who knew him and saw what he could do, we believe his work was certainly among the best. After all, he was an artist, a musician, a singer, and an actor who could meld these skills together to create the art that gave him solid credibility among his peers. So we are proud to be here tonight to see him receive this well-deserved recognition that he earned for his prolific, albeit short, career. So from a home where cartoon watching was a requirement, <laughs> let us look at a small sampling of scenes he contributed to uh, while working for various studios of his time. the right size to take with you when you're playing with friends, when you're taking a trip, or when you're out for a walk. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? It was a fun house, and we did eat Captain Crunch commercial uh, uh, cereal almost every day. So for his wonderful artistry and his sheer importance to the history of animation, I am more than proud to present uh, Asifas Hollywood's Windsor K Award to Frank Braxton. And to help accept this, I would like to bring to stage my brother, Scott Braxton, and my mom, Betty Braxton. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so very, very much. We're so honored to be here. We're so honored to have our father recognized after so long and such an illustrious career. So on behalf of the Frank Baxton family, my mom, my sister, his four grandchildren he ever, never got a chance to meet, I want to thank the members of ASIFA for honoring us, honoring our dad with this special award. 
This is particularly meaningful given that it was exactly 50 years ago that he was nearing the end of his short life, which ultimately ended on June 1st, 1969. It was during this time, 50 years ago, that members of your industry stepped up and demonstrated the humanity that we came to know during his career. For it was in the midst of Dad's work on the Bill Melendez feature film, A Boy Named Charlie Brown, that he became too ill to continue. But Frank Braxton's segment got completed because his colleagues at the studio rallied around him, divided his work, and finished it under his name. And our family received that paycheck, as if he had still been there to complete it. I get emotional every time I think about the pure love of that act. Let's call this a true Benny Washam moment. As hopefully you read in the Frank Braxton bio, Ben Washam, clearly a major artistic contributor to the golden age of Warner Brothers cartoons, seized the opportunity to do the right thing and courageously challenged the established industry hiring norm. As a result, the industry eventually learned that creating animation magic is richer when voices outside that norm participate in the conversation. Of course, we are very proud of our father's accomplishments, even as we grieve his struggles and his early passing. But as we recognize him this evening, let's also celebrate those individuals in your industry who, in the past through today, continue to do the right thing and challenge the industry to be open and inclusive of all races who have and will continue to contribute to your amazing art form. Thank you, and God bless you.